kings and queens and how they coexist how they find one another first let's define king what is a king a king is a man that is destined for rulership a man that is that has been put in authority to rule let's go back to the first king or the first man that would be adam 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 and eve adam Adam was put here to rule over and have dominion over all of the animals, all of the earth, to till the ground, everything. He was ruler. He was put here to rule over the land. It wasn't good for him to be alone. So therefore, God made him a help me. That would be Eve. She was the first queen. King and queen. Adam and Eve. Now, let's bring it to 2022 what is a king a king is a man who has the mind frame or the mindset to rule to be in authority over to protect and to provide that is a king so when we say king we are speaking of a man when we say queen we are speaking of a woman who has the mind frame and the mindset to actualize her potential knows her worth and does the work a king can only have conversation with and woo a queen not just a man who has not tapped into his king mind frame, his mindset, the mindsets of a king, knowing that he is to protect and to provide and to provide rulership over his household, his family, um, his way of life. A queen is not tripping off a regular man. When I say a regular man, I mean a man who has not tapped into his king mindset because she is so busy doing what she does to the greatest potential, working on herself, for herself, by herself. She's not tripping off any regular random guy that just comes along or pass by or drives up talking about, Hey, baby. Hey, baby. What's your name? What's your phone number? Can I get them digits? A queen ignores that. A queen is already set. She's already got things going on for herself. She has her purpose, her mission, her vision. She is walking in her uh, her gift. She is walking in her purpose. Her light is going to shine wherever she sits. And when that king comes along, she just looks and like, oh, okay. She'll have conversation for him. She'll have the time of day for him, but not just no regular man. So when I say king and queen, I'm not talking about the outward adornment. I'm not talking about having a crown on your head because there are a lot of clowns that wear crowns or they talk that stuff. They have a slick tongue. They're con artists, men and women. They play games. They're not serious. They gaslight. They want to tell you what they think that you want to hear. They are sociopaths and psychopaths. They watch other people mimic their movements and eventually their true colors shine through. But a queen can see that from a mile away. A king can see that in a queen or a woman pretending to be a queen from a mile away. This is just my definition of what I feel having the king and queen mindset is. I know you got a story and you just don't want to wait. Adrena's Haven, I